Hello and welcome back. Game two of match one. We've got lands, we've got the silk wrap, strangler, and even a negate and demonic pact at the ready, so this is definitely a keeper. I couldn't really have asked for a better seven, I think. I'm sure I could have if I spent some time thinking about it, but the deck is relatively new to me. I will not question getting an optimal hand handed to me. Playing the um, shambling vent first so that we have an untapped land, we can immediately silk wrap. If he plays a cut third or something, I'd probably uh, soak wrap a blister pod. And we find another untapped land, and we'll be able to play the strangler. So, I'll go ahead and cast it. Doesn't save us much, but uh, I believe in the cards, and that we'll get an untapped land before long. Hopefully, immediately. Playing a strangler, taking out a Liliana or something would be ideal, but I'd also be happy just to play another Silk Wrap or a Tap Land with the anticipation of playing a Strangler, Oath of Jace, or Demonic Pact on turn four, depending on the situation. Ideally, he goes Liliana, we find an untapped island or something, and Strangle. Or a Scepter. I would Strangle that too. Okay. So we're going to play land, and I think we're just going to deadweight um, a Scion, I guess. Mm -hmm. It puts it into the graveyard, which is nice, and mm -hmm. this thing is still annoying if it's in play, mm -hmm. so... Let's go ahead and do that. And then next turn we can start strangling mm -hmm. the Sifters, mm -hmm. or whatever else he's got. We could also Oath of Jace to try and dig for a Languish, or some such. If we don't find a land next turn, it might be better just to Oath, find some lands. We really want to get up to five or six so that we have Descend Upon the Sinful, and we can play our Demonic Pact. So if he scryed to the top, he drew something. Like land go. I'd probably hold up um, the Negate for that. But he might be stuck on lands, and he's just playing Loam Dryads to substitute for that. So we could take down one of them, we could take out the Sifter, either mm -hmm. way, denies him a mana. We could also play the Demonic Pact. Mm -hmm. I think it's better to play the Demonic Pact, maybe? Hmm, that's actually a tough call. Either way, he'll have access to four mana. It'll save us a bit of damage, but mm -hmm. getting the Pact in play right away is a mm -hmm. pretty nice deal. I think I'm going to play the Sifter. I really wish I had like a, a Dispel or something to hold up, but this will suffice. So let's take out the sifter. Don't want him scrying anymore when he has to. Plus also, it might be risky to play the demonic pact as we don't actually have an answer to it just yet. And as far as I know, there's a very real possibility that we would not find one and then have to lose the game to our own pact. And it gets much harder to win when that happens. So, just a flush bag, sacrificing the blister pod. And I guess he could still play two drop if he wanted to. Not too bad. Oh, looks like we're just getting bashed over the head for two by a couple of gnome dryad horrors. Good first. Alrighty. Five lands, we could play Oath of Jace and hold up Negate. I think I just want to get the pact down pretty soon, though. Hmm, it's a bit tricky. I'll play the Oath, actually. Let's see what we draw. If I can find the Flaying Tendrils for next turn, that'd make all the difference. This actually draws more cards than the, um, digs deeper than Demonic Pact does, even. Another pack than that, okay. I would like something that exiles a card from his hand, or from play, or hand, so that we could strangle. Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna get rid of one demonic pact. Question is, do I get rid of the two for one with the strength of the Sylvangar's command? I do not think so. I'd like to keep a land for next turn, but it is tapped, so I wouldn't even be able to play demonic pact and hold it in the gate. I don't even get rid of the second channel event. And I will pass with Negate at the ready. Although I do not think I'm going to get much use out of it. If we can just top deck a Flame Tendrils, that would be great. 
do so like to exile one side of the field and not the other. He doesn't even have enough mana to activate the Hissing Quagmire yet, unless he tapped a Lone Dryad. So he's going to hold up four mana, or five, with the Dra Eldrazi Scion. So that speaks to me, maybe uh, pass the turn, collect company at my end step. Could be annoying. Hope to find a land and play Demonic Pact, I guess. Collect company main phase. That couldn't have gone better. I guess he was looking for a uh, Nantugo Husk and a um, Zulaport Cutthroat or something. I'm alright with this. Let's see what we find. Another Silk Wrap. Wouldn't be terrible. The spell's pretty good. I'm gonna play a Demonic Pact and hold it up. Deal four, gain four off the Marauder. That should offset a lot of his damage. Unfortunately, if he does have a uh, Zulaport, we're in a bit of trouble. Could always Silumgar's command to bounce my own Silk Wrap. Play that following turn with a Strangler. If you really need to, but that is not at all preferable. Is he going to tease me with two cards in hand, daring me to Demonic Pack them? Out of hand. He's holding back the Scion, so he's going to cast something for three mana. Play a land, hold up Collected Company again. What could this be? Just a two drop? Just a Cutthroat. Alright, so we can bounce that and minus three, minus three, the Marauder or something. Do need to get rid of the Marauder. Pretty soon. Alright, so. Deal four, gain four is probably the safest bet. We could bounce, or kill the cutthroat, and then, I don't know, bounce Marauder and kill a Dryad or something if we had to. I think I just want to get down the 3-2 and trade with him. So I'm just going to kill the cutthroat. Draw Languish. <laughs> uh, yeah, that will work. That will do. Very glad that we got rid of the um, Cutthroat and not the Marauder there. Saved ourselves a bit of damage. Cleaned his board up, so no Cryptolithrites, but he's gonna fill it right back up. I could draw two or get his last card out. I think I'm gonna draw two cards. Hope to draw something good. Purge is good. Purge is very good. Fortune didn't draw the land. Would have liked to. Good Stasis Snare. I'm gonna get rid of this right now. Either way, mm -hmm. I can stasis snare that, I can deadweight that, and then mm -hmm. I can hold up to spell. Alternatively, I could um, Selimgar's command to kill this, mm -hmm. bounce this, and then mm -hmm. I have an angelic purge mm -hmm. as an out mm -hmm. to my own demonic pact. The advantage of stasis snare plus deadweight is I hold on, hold my mana up for a dispel. Not that that matters, because he would have to have a land and a collected company ready to go. Uh, I do get to exile something that's good for the Wasteland Strangler, though. This makes use of my mana. I think I'm going to... Oh, I can't even cast the Snare, because I only have one white mana. Never mind that. So, with that in mind, I think I'm just going to... Bounce the Scion, kill the creature. And then the following turn, whatever he does, I'll have a, a Purge for it. Answer his creatures one for one now. I've got enough action to hold him off that I don't have to bounce my pact. I can just discard it, or sacrifice it rather. So hopefully he doesn't have a collective company as his last card. I don't think he does. Especially if he's activating that, so that's good news. So we will get his last card out now. We'll find out what it was in just a moment. And we've got the Stasis Snare as an answer to the Quagmire later if we just find a white. It was another Cryptolithrite. Alright, not another white. Unfortunately. So I'm going to exile this. At the cost of this. And then... 
Still mm -hmm. got a couple turns off of that. Mm -hmm. I could play the Strangler just to block, but since now that I have something exiled, I think I can wait a turn or two. Hold up the spell. He's just going to animate the Quagmire, though. More likely than not. The cost of one life a turn. If I find a stasis, a oh, planes or something to cast the stasis snare, I think we're in excellent shape. An oath of Jace would be pretty nice. Oh, yeah, there's the planes. There we go. We're in great shape now, I'd say. Just gotta find another win condition. Yeah, we've been taken down to three lands. Could also just trade the Shambling Vent, but then I'd be down another white source. This way I can just hit him with the Shambling Vent and still have up a Dispel. And we got that too. Alright, so let's activate. Don't need to have six. Might need to Dispel. And he scoops, so we win.